So in this class, I'm going to explain how you run a Hello World servlet in Java. So the first thing that you need to do is you need to install Tomcat. I have installed Tomcat in C users, my name, dev apps, Apache Tomcat 7047. So this is where I have Tomcat. Once I have installed Tomcat, I will go and set up my Eclipse. I am using Eclipse Kepler version. So if you go to help about Eclipse, we need the Kepler version of Eclipse. You see the version of Eclipse here. And then I am going to set up my Eclipse for Tomcat. So go to Windows Preferences, go to the Server tab. And under Server tab, go to Runtime Environments. And then click on Add. And from here, select Apache Tomcat 7.0 and create a new local server okay and then here you have Tomcat 7 and choose a JRE for here say JRE 6 and this is where I have installed Tomcat okay and then say finish after the server is set up click OK now the server is set up and you should see this servers project created and that contains Apache Tomcat 7.0 now the next thing we need to do is we need to create a new dynamic web project. So go to other and go under web folder and under web folder you should see dynamic web project. Select that and here let's give the project name as training in servlets and here I'm choosing Tomcat 7 okay say next you can choose the default for the source and the and the classes folder say next so the context root is training servlets and the content directory is web content and then select generate web.xml deployment descriptor and click on finish so now I'm going to create a servlet called the hello world servlet in the source package so go to new and say servlet and here let's give the Java package as com dot training dot this is my name of name of my company dot servlets and the class name is hello world and then say next this is demo of hello world with uh, URL parameters also and then say next and then click finish here so it has created a servlet and if you look at this servlet it extends the HTTP servlet HTTP servlet extends the generic servlet and the generic servlet implements the servlet interface okay so now the HTTP servlet has do get and do post as abstract methods so let's implement those methods in this particular case let's implement only the do get so I have code for this already so if you see the code here I'm, I'm uh, passing a URL parameter called name I will access that parameter over here and here in the print writer I press control shift M to import it and then using the print writer object called PW I create the HTML content so the HTML content contains the body and the body says welcome to servlets mister and here I'm using the bold tag to bold the name that I pass and I use my the name that I just got here which is the URL parameter and then I this is the closing tag for the bold and then I put the closing tag for the body in HTML as well and then I close that stream and the response content type is should, should be set to text or HTML so this response this response this HTML response will be sent back to the browser on the client side and this and it will and it will display welcome to servlets mister whatever name that you pass and that name is in bold so to run this first save this file by pressing control s 
then right click here and say run as run on server so it is going to uh, it deploy to tomcat and and will start running it and it says welcome to servlets mr null it says null because i have not passed any name to this url by default the tomcat starts on your local machine so lo your local machine is nothing but local host and then there's a colon and then 8080 is a port number where tomcat is running and training servlets is your context root and the training servlets i have a servlet called hello world to this servlet i can pass my name as sujit and press enter and it will say mr sujit if you want to pass uh, like my last name as well i'll say person 20 for space character you have to enter person 20 in the url and then if i say kumar it will say mr sujit kumar <coughs> if i have to pass multiple parameters for example i say first name equal to sujit <coughs> and if i have to pass one more par parameter i'll say last name equal to kumar but that that's not going to work because <coughs> i'm expecting name so i'm going to go and change that so i'll pass two parameters here one would be name first name and one would be last name okay so i'll call this as first name and the second one i'll call it as last name so this will be first underscore name and last underscore name and here i'll say string name equal to first name space sorry first name is a string plus and i'll put a space plus my last name and i'm going to use that name over here and when i save it if you see the tomcat console it gets redeployed it automatically gets redeployed so that's what this eclipse plugin for tomcat does so it says reload re reloading context with this if i make this full screen you'll see that it is completed now the reloading is completed so now i can go back to my url here and for first name actually it is first underscore name right that's what we used and for last name it is last underscore name and then i press enter and it gets the first name and the last name so all the changes to the servlet are dynamically deployed as soon as you save that file as soon as you save the servlet file you have to wait for a few seconds for it to reload and then you can come back to this browser window and do a refresh and all the url parameters will now take effect so this is how this is an example of a simple hello world servlet which processes the get parameters